Hey guys, this is my trade binder that I will be bringing to conventions. I'm going to at least TCG Con, likely February sometime. Um, I have free tickets and why not go? Uh, my girlfriend will be go coming with me as will be my Shiba Unu. And I just want to show you what I would be bringing with me. Uh, again, I have a media pass, so I think we have like early admission venue. I, it's like the top pass, right? So they were very kind. Uh, this is kind of what I'm going to bring with me. Uh, am I looking to sell, buy, trade? As oof, the the glare on this is going to be horrific, horrendous. Uh, yes, I am looking to trade up. I have way too many cards. I would love to trade into some more valuable cards, and you know. The card, the qual card quality I'm going to trade up, like you're going to see from this binder, isn't bad, right? But I get it. Hey, maybe there's a premium. Maybe there's not. We can talk about it. Here you have the unlimiteds. My unlimited up. There's the jet. Uh, would love to trade the jet and my mocks and my candelera, candelera into something else. Oh, there's my lotus. Um, yes, my Lotus is for trade and sale. Oh, and there's Ruby. Pretty cool. I haven't seen this binder in a while. It's been in the safe. Um, so yeah, I will be bringing my Pokemon trade binder as well as my Magic trade binder. And I have a lot of things to trade. Um, ideally, I would be interested to see if I could just trade the entire binder in or something. Obviously, it would have to be like a Black Lotus, a very high grade Black Lotus, given what I'm going to show you soon. Oh, there's the factory and a power artifact. So that's a cool card. And yeah, these are my dual lands. These are my extras. I have a play set of Unlimited now. I've upgraded from Revised Unlimited. I have some copies of Revised. Uh, oh, there's Wheel. I don't know why Wheel is here. This seems a little weird for me to uh, organize it in this way, but okay. And yeah, I am more than happy to come off these cards at reasonable cast prices or Zell prices or whatever. Um, I'm looking to really, I don't want to say like quit the game because that's untrue. I'm st I still own so much more than this. Like, you know, like just stockpiles or reserve lists. Like, and we're not talking about bad. I've like, 20 city of traders and and 10 survival of the fittest and, and they're not even in this um trade binder because they're just so <laughs> disorganized uh they're they're organized by set but prices change a lot and uh they're not sometimes it's like it's weird bayou bayou is a really good buy actually i think bayou is the the duel that took the most massive hit in terms of percentage Ty guy, like anytime you can get like a dual land that's in relatively good condition for about $100, $200, it's a really good buy. In my opinion, uh, long term, it's, it's also very easy liquid to trade. You're never going to have problems trading a Taiga into whatever standard Shidrate or whatever you want. I mean, the people that guy's just dying inside when you trade him a, a dual land, right? Um, so trade, in terms of trade bait, dual land. So, oh, here's my underground seas. Again, um, I'll, ha I'll bring a loop. I'll definitely bring a loop so you guys can take a look at it and test it. I've tested every single one of these cards multiple times myself uh, with the loop, the green dot test, all the tests. Um, this is a very beautiful page, actually. Be kind of hard to let them go. But you might be like, okay, so do you really need the cash? Why won't you just hold them? Because they, I mean, they are dual lands, right? Um, yeah, we're starting a family soon. Not that I need the money, but it probably isn't the worst thing in the world. Plus, it would be nice to have cash. I, I mean, I have a shit ton of cash, but it would be nice to, you know, to relaunch the cash into the collectibles uh for most of you guys know that when i buy collectibles i never sell them i just continue to buy them and that has led into a cash gap you know i'm, I'm stopping i'm trying to spend only what i get 
out of it. So to get a little bit of cash influx, I don't think it's a bad thing, right? Uh, Badlands, talking about Badlands. Savannah. <laughs> oh man, drop. Oh, it's a volcanic. Okay, duh. I, I was like, wait a second. There's a land here that's actually more valuable. Oh, volcanic. Yeah. You can't even. So, out of all the dual lands, I know obviously I'm very symmetric, and it would kind of annoy me that I don't have nine or eighteen volcanics to show you off, right? I only have what is that, sixteen of them. Um, yeah, it's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. But those are more traps and more. Yeah, I have another binder of dual lands but that's all i could kind of stuff in this one binder so this is what i will be probably bringing in with me um there is a store that i want to go visit and we'll see if we can work something out it's just hard when you have so much stuff like you're looking at with the unlimited duels right which are really expensive you're probably looking at i don't even know what, what do you think 50 60 000 in dual lands alone then you throw in a mox, you throw in two moxes, a lotus, candles, some beta alpha. I mean, who knows what the binder is worth? Maybe 100K on a really, really good day, like 100K straight retail. Maybe. I don't know. Hi, <laughs> guys.